Welcome back to another episode. So this time I actually went out to uh, our local, uh, what we call the fish ladder, uh, which is where the migrating fish are jumping up, uh, sort of like a small man-made waterfall. Uh, so it's a lot of massive trout and massive salmon uh, that are jumping up there. Um, but while I was shooting there, I ran into a very, very frustrating issue, uh, which I have actually taken the time to send Pentax a request uh, for a product enhancement on the K3 Mark III. The issue that I was having is, uh, you know, it, yeah, it, it was frustrating. When you're in stills mode and you have your shutter speed set at, say, you know, one sixteen hundredth of a second uh, because you're shooting something that's fast moving, uh, so you're, you know, focused on capturing high speed movement, things like that. And then say, you know, at, at a moment you're like, oh, I want to do some video. So you flip over and, uh, you know, you go into video mode and you have it set to, say, uh, 1080, 60 frames per second, right? 1080, 60p. So you want to use 120, one 120th of a second for the shutter speed. But when you flip over to video mode, it remains at 1 1600th of a second. So then you have to manually change the shutter speed and then do your video. Now the other problem is when you go back to stills mode, it stays at 1 1 sorry, 1 1 20th of a second for the shutter speed. Even though you're no longer shooting video, it doesn't retain the previous shutter speed when you're flipping back and forth between the modes. So my suggestion was, uh, you know, if there's a way where they can have it so it would actually remember that way, you can be shooting stills and then, oh, I want to capture some video. Flip it to video, you can just fire away and just start recording the video and then flip it back to stills mode and keep shooting, right? It's just a much much more user intuitive experience instead of having to fumble around switching things back and forth back and forth back and forth but anyway uh in regards to uh the fish jumping i was using afs and uh, i was using the hd 55300 plm uh with that said my primary goal uh is i noticed that uh especially with the k3 mark three the reliance on me just sort of capturing, you know, getting something in focus to begin with and then just bursting through to capture that moment uh, has started to take away from the skill of being able to immediately capture that one moment of time, right? Um, you know, sort of like with film, you only have 36 exposures at the most uh, in order to deal with and within those 36 exposures, you don't wanna be just bursting through, right? You have to kind of train your mind into actually capturing the correct moment in time. So that's what I was focusing on. I was using AFS with single shutter, uh, single firing shutter, no continuous shutter uh, drive mode, nothing like that. Uh, so it was just the moment's there, snap the shot. Moment's not there, don't take the shot. Uh, so these are some of the results uh, that I had and I'll walk you through it and uh, let's just get into it okay now full stop let me just be straight up with you shooting this oh yeah it was stinky there were there were so many fish in the water it really really stank i mean i do eat fish i don't mind the taste of fish i do like it but it was pungent shooting this uh, now, in regards to the single actuated uh, shutter, where you're not relying on continuous shutter drive mode, it was a pretty big eye-opener in regards to how much I have been relying on the capabilities of the K3 Mark III and being less reliant on my own skills and abilities to capture those moments or predict that exact fraction of time when something is going to happen. I used to be very, very well ber well burst, <laughs> well versed at that. Uh, while I was shooting nightclub photography because you always had to be aware of everything that was happening around you. And I do miss that ability to be able to just predict a moment and capture it. It just gives you that extra push to keep driving and honing your skills. Uh, now, unfortunately, some of the fish didn't quite make it. And uh, yeah. However, at the end of the day, it is still nature. These things do happen. Uh, you know, it's just unfortunate that 
you know, as you can see, this one poor fish, it's struggling to stay alive, um, you know, just flapping around in the water. However, some fish did figure it out right away, like this guy right here, just swimming along and was like, whoops, nope, that is definitely not where I wanted to be. I got to get back into the water. Let me glide. So this is one of the instances where I was shooting video, then flipped back to stills mode lost a whole bunch of shots because the shutter speed was just way too slow so this is why I asked for that enhancement with Pentax and then there were these fish here uh, that were jumping over the main area where they're supposed to go to get upstream some of them oh, oh almost made it buddy almost made it but some of them didn't make it they kept trying over and over again I know that a lot of them did make it because I did see them when I was leaving uh, you know in order to leave you have to be above that section of water now, if you have never been to a fish ladder, I do suggest if you can handle the smell of all the fish, uh, it is worth it. It's quite interesting to see how powerful fish really are when they go to jump. So there you have it. That was uh, the great adventure of shooting uh, jumping fish at the fish ladder and the frustrating experience I had with flipping between video and stills mode uh, with having to constantly flip back and forth, changing the shutter speed. Uh, you know, it was a frustrating experience in regards to that. Hopefully Pentax does see uh, my suggestion and they are able to implement that in a future firmware update. I think it would be a, a, a great value to the camera as well as the user base. Uh, it also enhances, uh, you know, in a matter of speaking, video capability, just th just the, the simplicity of being able to switch to video with the correct settings, shoot the video, flip back to stills mode and keep firing, I think is a much, much better uh, choice than it is right now, where every single change you make, you have to keep changing all your other settings, or at least the shutter speed back and forth, back and forth, which will cause you to lose some shots. But anyway... Uh, that's it for this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you have not already, please do subscribe. Always helps out. If you want to be a member and see what that's all about, check the link in the description. And if you want to support the channel, that info is down at the very bottom of the description. So you don't, you know, if you don't really want to support the channel, you don't have to scroll all the way down. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, if you do like the video, please do subscribe. Uh, that goes for every channel that you watch. If you've seen a couple of things, uh, you know, and you like the content, subscribe like it done you know that really helps us out as youtubers but anyway uh if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and you will see me in my next video i'm out hello oh hello pentax uh, yes, I did make a mention of the video issue on my channel. Yeah. Right. Okay, then. Yeah, okay, so I should just stop complaining and just take the camera as it is. Yeah, you know what? You, you, you always should listen to your user base and actually implement things that make a lot of sense. Uh, that's just my opinion. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. That's never going to happen. There's no way they would ever call me. <laughs> All right. Now I'm out.